In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add color to our design. And I started doing that with my octopus here. Um, just a couple things. Uh, after you created that border, um, what we're going to keep in mind, anything inside the border is going to be in color. Anything on outside of the border is going to be black and white. But what you can do is you can have your subject matter. So in my case, my subject matter is this octopus. And I can have that color extend outside the border. Okay, so um, let me show you how to get started. I actually got it started with um, the main face of the octopus, um, and I did that on a new layer. So I'm gonna recreate what I just did. Um, so what I like to do is I like to look at my reference image. And looking at my reference image, if I kind of zoom in here, you notice that I have different colors or in, in what you can, can really consider as different values. So I have my lighter areas and I have my darker areas. My darker areas are places that are probably further away. My lighter areas are my highlights or areas closer to me. So I'm gonna use that when I recreate my, or when I add a color to my um, subject matter. Um, what you can do is you can take the eyedropper tool if you want to use it to match the color. So with it, you have this little plus sign and you can move it around and notice when I place it somewhere, it finds that color. I can add that color to my library. So I click on the little circle for the color um, choice and I hit that little plus sign and it'll add it to my um, swatches, my library here, okay? and. I am going to, I think I'm just gonna find all the colors that I would like to use. So looking at my lightest color, which is this, this light pink, going into my darker colors, which is more of this purple. And I do notice that I have even like this little orange in, in it as well. I already did that, I saved all of those. Um, so I'm not gonna do that for you right now, okay? Um, but that's how you would add colors to your library, hitting that little plus sign using that eyedropper. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start to apply these colors. So I'm first going to create a new layer. We always want to work on a new layer. And I'm going to use the watercolor brush tool. So there's a couple of live brush options. One of them is the watercolor. Um, and then there's different choices uh, for that style of that watercolor application. So I think I'm just going to use the watercolor round detail. Um, you could also use wash soft, um, but you notice when you do that, um, it's a little bit lighter and you get uh, a lot more values with it. Uh, this might be a little bit easier to control, okay? So I'm gonna use that one. Um, I could change the size of the brush, right? And I could pick the color. So I'm gonna start with my lightest value right here. And I'm just going to Use a brush size a little bit larger, and I'm gonna get rid of my reference image. And, oops, I didn't wanna hide that. I'm on my new layer, and I'm going to apply this color throughout the head of my subject matter. I got an eye. Just carefully put it inside those lines. If I make a mistake, I could always grab the eraser tool to erase part of that color. And again, this is my more my lightest color or maybe even the base color. And then we're gonna layer on top of this color. So I'm gonna have to shrink my brush size down a little bit. Okay, so I have my base color down. Um, and what I'm gonna do next, is I'm gonna start to look at adding some shadows. Okay, so looking at my reference image, this for a second. I have some shadows here, 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 around there, along here as well. 
somewhere these lines are, um, maybe right underneath here. So keeping that in mind, and you kind of may have to bounce back and forth. I'm going to take my little, a little bit darker value and start to apply this color in this area. And you notice when I do this, maybe make it a little bigger, is it's a live brush tool, so it kind of, um, and we're using watercolor, so it will kind of spread out and kind of be applied a little bit more evenly, which is kind of neat. I'm just placing it in areas where I think are further away from me. And looking at my reference image, I can help determine what areas those are. And if I apply color on top, it gets a little bit darker as well. But then I'm going to go back in with another darker value more on top of that and just some areas where it's a little bit darker and I'm gonna keep on doing that I have like a little bit of brown maybe in areas that are furthest to me from me sorry furthest from me Just a little bit right there. A couple areas right there. You can now start to see that I'm creating this depth. Some um, areas that look further away for dark areas. Areas that are closer to me with my lighter color. And maybe add some yellow. So like little spots that it had. Maybe grab back that pink and okay. And I could always go back to that, but that's looking pretty good. Starting to get a little bit more depth to it. And I just used a variety of colors that I found for my reference image. Give that a try. If you're having difficulties, feel free to call me in your breakout room. I'm happy to look at it.